Oh, uh, where to begin today? I know y'all want to hear the raw report, but what I'm going to start with is is basically a part of the raw report here. I presume, Mike, that you saw the Nia versus Charlotte match. You, 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 you. There's no way that you heard all about this and then didn't watch it. Oh, I did indeed. Yes. All right. All right. All right. Listen, everybody. Here's I'm just going to take you through the whole thing. Okay. I started hearing about Nia and Charlotte hours before I watched it because I have the West Coast feed, and uh, so I'd heard all sorts of things about it. And then I go on the Twitter, and I watch clips of it. And I thought, oh, my God, what in God's name is going on with this show? So I, I end up, I, I start watching the show. And as we'll get into here, I mean, in the, in the first one hour of Raw, I saw four near injuries. In, one, in the first one hour, I saw four near injuries on this show. Two to Rhea Ripley, one of which, by the way, involved Nia Jax. I saw one with uh, with Veer and Ivar. And then uh, Drew McIntyre splatted on a dive and almost killed himself. So in one hour, I saw four near death experiences. And you know what? You would have lost the bet that would have said Sheamus would have been involved with one of them. Well, that's true. Uh, but I would not have bet that because he's actually been a lot better lately. He's, he's well. the least of my problems. So anyway, I start watching the show. And then as as noted, I get to this this Nia Jax match with, with Charlotte. And uh, it just goes off the rails. And I'm watching it. And it, it like it's not a shoot because they're working together and they manage to make it through the match. But as I'm watching it, it's very clear to me, and I'll go into more detail in a moment, that at one point, they just get very angry at each other, and they stop cooperating, and we have a, a minor kerfluffle, and then they manage to get it back on track. So I'm like, God, this show, my lord in heaven. So I start doing the Observer Radio Show with Dave, and that's the first thing I want to talk about is this match. And, and Dave says that he was under the impression that they had decided to work a shoot. And if you heard the show last night, like, I my my brain exploded at the thought of this. Like, no way. There's just no way. So I wake up this morning, and I have a number, a number of messages from people within this industry, including in WWE, and uh, suffice to say, there was one person who said, maybe, maybe, maybe they decided they were going to do something. But if they did, it was like very, very stupid. And to a person, every other single individual was like they had a match and they got upset with each other. And they briefly had a kerfluffle. They didn't use the word kerfluffle, obviously. And then they managed to finish the match together. I would I would stake not my life, okay, but I, I would stake uh, a full freezer of Wagyu beef <laughs> on they they had a match and they they began being uncooperative. Now, here's the thing, everybody: a worked shoot, okay. It's usually done by people that have a modicum of an idea of what shooting is, okay? In no universe that I watch this and thinking they're trying to have a worked shoot, okay? Maybe you could say that they wanted to convince you that they were being uncooperative. I mean, I guess. Why you would do that and have a match completely fall apart and be ridiculed? And not to mention that. If you look at what happened, okay, Charlotte Flair is the the women's champion. And, you know, you guys may not like Charlotte Flair or whatever, but, I mean, she's a very, very pushed commodity within WWE. If this was a worked, a worked miscommunication, all they did was make Charlotte look like an absolute fool. She got nothing in this word conf confrontation. Not only that. Let's say you want to do, oh, me and Mike are going to have a, a fake kerfluffle. I'm going to pull his hair and he's going to do whatever. Dude, that's not what happened. Charlotte at one point hits the ropes to do something and Nia just stands there and Charlotte stops running and then she runs and leaps onto Nia's shoulders. Oh, what kind of what kind of sh work shoot is this? It was, it was, it was... A non-cooperative moment in a match with two wrestlers that ended up getting it back on track. The other thing I could tell you about this is 
if you watch the match, okay, and and I guess the other thing to, to address would be, why would Dave have been told by somebody that they were, they were working? Well, I don't know. Maybe that person believed it, okay? Maybe somebody was embarrassed and was like, oh, no, no, they were working a shoot. They didn't actually have a kerfluffle. I don't know what the story is, okay? But I do know that I have two eyes and I watched the match, and this is what I saw. There's a spot in the middle of the match where Nia lifts up Charlotte and just dumps her on her head. She doesn't even go down with her. She lifts her up and just dumps her, and Charlotte lands on the back of her head and her side. Totally careless. And as noted, by the way, earlier, there was a there was a spot with Nia and Rhea where Nia is going to attack her after the match, and she attacks her by, like, running into her as hard as she can, and Rhea flies into the ropes, and, like, her body keeps going, but there's a rope in the way, so her neck, it was horrible looking. That was not a work shoot, by the way. So, uh, you know, Nia drops her, and it's all, it's all careless looking. It's horrible. So then they're doing some other spots, and this is, this is the key to me, okay? Nia is sitting down, and Charlotte goes for a running boot, and Charlotte very clearly goes to make a cover off this running boot, and as she's trying to cover her, Nia's like, I'm just going to stand up. She's not selling the boot. She just starts standing up. And Charlotte's desperately trying to cover her, but Nia just stands up. That's when Charlotte slaps her across the face. They start talking to each other. I think Charlotte slaps her a second time. But anyway, at that point, Nia grabs her by the hair and she goes, bam, bam. And they go up against the ropes and she's pulling on her by the hair. And like, this is when there's like a, there's like a pause as they try to figure out like, what is going on here? That's when Charlotte hits the ropes and then just stops running because Nia's not doing whatever she's supposed to do. I think Nia was supposed to move to the middle to lift her up for the Simone drop. But Nia just stands by the ropes like, whatever, what are you going to do? And so Charlotte stops running. And then Charlotte decides, well, the spot is I'm supposed to be lifted for a small drop. So she runs and leaps onto Nia. And, of course, Nia's just standing there. So now Charlotte's trying to crawl up the Empire State Building with no cooperation whatsoever. And at that point, I guess they figure, dude, let's just finish this stupid match. And so Charlotte grabs her, and I don't even know what. And they sit there for a while. And literally, Jimmy Jimmy Smith, who, you know, normally he adds nothing to commentary, but in this case he does, he's like, Charlotte's going to get her shoulder torn out because she's got her arm in a horrible position. is basically doing nothing. And literally, Nia could go like this with her arm and totally tear her shoulder out. But instead, they stand there for a second, and then Nia just takes a bump, and then Charlotte makes a cover, and they both got back into whatever they were going to do. But that period there, I mean, you... I mean, there's no convincing me that this was some plan by these two, okay? If I had to speculate what happened, I think that Nia was going over, and somebody probably told her to go out there and be a monster, and so her idea of being a monster was, you know, I'm going to no-sell a bunch of stuff or whatever, and then, like, maybe she did too much and Charlotte got frustrated, because do you guys remember when Charlotte was doing that match and Kyrie Sane got concussed? And Charlotte didn't know that she was concussed. She just thought that Kyrie decided to be uncooperative. And do you remember the first thing that Charlotte did when she thought her opponent was being uncooperative? She started slapping her. She started slapping a, and she didn't know it at the time, but a concussed opponent, okay? If you watch the match, the exact same thing happened here. She went for a cover, and Nia just stood up which I'm sure to Charlotte was being uncooperative. Why aren't you laying down for my boot? And she hauled off and slapped her. It's the exact same thing that we have seen happen in another situation where Charlotte lost her cool during a match. So anyway, as noted, they got it back on the same page. And I would presume that they are actually going to wrestle again because, you know, it was a non-title match that Nia won. But it is it is one for the ages. If you've not seen this match... You have to go watch it. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.